They're still trying to find Colonel Gaddafi and still trying to clear the streets of his soldiers. We are now in the Buslim residential area. We have some resistance here from mercenaries and Gaddafi forces. But uh, as you see, we are taking over it uh, step by step and we are accomplishing a lot actually in uh, these uh, hours. Outside the west gate of his compound, the opposition fighters come under attack again. The place here, hey, hey, the place is not safe. No. That's sniper, sniper, sniper. From the, from the, sniper, from the yeah. apartments. Yeah. From the yeah. apartments. Yeah. The snipers can pin whole units down to one area. They're pulling out. This group is from Misrata and isn't familiar with the capital. There's little coordination and plenty of room for confusion. The opposition have their own snipers trying to pick off Gaddafi's men, but a lot of the time they don't even know where the enemy is. Three of the rebels are hit by their own side as the bullets rain down. Their friends are distraught and angry at these unnecessary killings. It's not just the £1.6 million bounty on his head which has made Gaddafi the most wanted man in Libya. His capture will finally give the country closure. But it's terrifying for the civilians trying to make their way through this part of the city. The rebels have overrun an entire Gaddafi encampment, leaving behind a trail of dead Gaddafi soldiers and mercenaries, some of whom they'd already captured. The traffic islands here are still strewn with dead bodies, bodies which are quickly rotting in this fierce heat. Gaddafi had parked two of his tanks in the shadow of apartments once filled with families. Slowly, slowly, bit by bit, they are clearing Tripoli, but it's still by no means over yet, with still pockets of resistance, and Gaddafi forces, maybe mercenaries, difficult to work out how many of them, but there are, they are still out there, giving them a bit of resistance. These are unstable, uncertain, frightening times, and parts of Tripoli are still not clear of Gaddafi forces. Alex Crawford, Sky News, Tripoli.